Welcome to Electron Line. Now here we have a problem we're going to do in two ways. The first time we're going to do it using the English units, feet and pounds. We're going to do this again using the metric units. But in both cases it's the same principle. We have a ball that bounces off the stairs. Notice that each time it hits a stair it bounces back up to the height of the previous stair before it hits the next step. Which means that the height that it comes from would be two the height of two stairs together, so that would be the original height. It bounces back to the height of one stair, but again it comes down from a height of two stairs. The mass or the weight of the ball is equal to one pound. The height of each stair is equal to one foot. We're asked to find the kinetic energy, the max of kinetic energy of the ball at any point in time, which of course will be right before it hits the stair. And we need to find what we call the coefficient of restitution, and by definition that is equal to the ratio of the final velocity divided by the initial velocity. In other words, the initial velocity hits the stair and the final velocity is it, it goes back up. So how do we find the coefficient of restitution? Well, you might remember the relationship between the kinetic energy and the potential energy. If we think of that as being the potential energy at the top right here, and then down here, it becomes kinetic energy. If we set those two equal to each other, we can say that the potential energy equals the kinetic energy, or the mgh must equal the one-half mv squared. When we cancel the m's on both sides and we solve for v, we see that v is equal to the square root of 2gh, which by now should be a familiar equation. So what we can do then is we can say that the maximum kinetic energy would equal the maximum potential energy which would be equal to mgh. So in this case we can say that the kinetic energy max is equal to the potential energy max which in this case is equal to mg times 2h twice the height of a step. And so knowing that the mg is equal to one pound and we multiply times twice the height and the height is equal to one foot we can see that the maximum potential energy, which is equal to the maximum kinetic energy, would be 2 foot-pounds. But now the coefficient of restitution. How do we find the final velocity? Well, notice going back over here, the velocity is equal to the square root of 2gh. So in this case, the final velocity would be the velocity necessary to make it a height of one step. So it would be the square root of 2gh. And the initial velocity is the velocity it gains by coming down from two heights. So this would be the square root of 2g times 2h. Notice that the 2gh cancel out, so this is equal to the square root of 1 over 2, or the square root of 1 divided by the square root of 2, which is equal to 0 0.707. In other words, the coefficient of restitution is simply 0.707, and that's based on the original height compared to the final height and then using that to find the original velocity and the final velocity. And that is how it's done.